All right, guys, it is Monday. Just got done power washing this thing up, as you guys saw. Just wanted to get behind there before I put the uh, new motor in. So that's going to be today's project. I'm going to put that motor in. Let that dry for a little bit. But, oh yeah, we're already down here. We're rocking. I got the big light going. You guys all hate it. Don't worry, I'll unplug it because I'm going to have the big door open today. Let's, uh, let's start the day. Holy. Camera's just soaked. Son of a bitch. Alright, so the motor's not in yet. It's still sitting there. I've been kind of sort of working on a bunch of stuff outside. I just got done uh, moving some, a bunch of shit around. And, well, I feel bad for this craftsman owner. I don't know if you guys can tell or not in the sun, but keep in mind that there's a little bit of gear oil in here from yesterday's snowmobile. And I drained the gear oil in it. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Even though I could come out and a lot of the gear oil. Yeah, I can kind of still see some of them. See the little glittery pieces in there? Well, Buddy there ran his lawnmower pretty damn low in oil. I mean, think about it. That's not about, that's probably even a quarter of a quart that's in there. Yep. So, I usually help this guy out once every every now and then. I did a big job for him last summer. They were at the deck, and well, he had just bought this mower, I want to say maybe two years ago. It's junk now. Did an oil change on it. Hopefully, uh, I'll let him know that his, his either rings or his cranks are gone. Or his, his rod, something. Because, well, once you run low in oil, you get sparklies. Your motor is pretty much on its way out the door. Oh yeah. Then I uh, thought I could fix the other buddies there. Uh, lawnmower is Toro there because it needs a magneto. Well, sure enough, I don't have a damn uh, damn to come some magneto, and that thing's sitting right there. So I think he'll be probably waiting until Friday until I go up to the power equipment place, and I'll just find a junk lawnmower or something from there. Nope, can't get it. Stay with us. Oh, there we go. But uh, yeah, and also I had a buddy, buddy of mine last night come by, Matt, and uh, he was um, he was looking at the snowmobile. I couldn't figure out what he was looking at. He just kind of sort of stood there for about a good minute looking at it. I'm like, bro, what are you looking at? He goes, the the belly pan, it's off. I go, what are you talking about? He goes, yeah. I guess if pretty much I didn't notice it until he said it. If, if you stand just right, right here. This belly pan was actually tipped down. Um, no, what am I saying? Down this way. Um, so I was like, wow, I didn't even notice that. He goes, yeah. So what'd you find about that? I go, I didn't even notice it. So he, uh, me and him, we ended up taking the hood off again last night and uh, doing a bunch of other shit to it. And we ended up tweaking the bottom of it just enough so the um, belly pan sits right. Um, so that was awesome. <laughs> Good thing he didn't notice that. I didn't even notice it. And then he's already looking at it. And sure enough, it's like tipped down just a little bit. And what happened was this was pushed up so high from probably that was bent in. So this had to get pushed down. It's just weird how it all worked up. But that's how I got tweaked up. That's how I got pushed down. It was kind of weird. I didn't even notice it. But uh, he got that all fixed. And then we're trying to figure out this track. Now I'm, this is, this is just my ballpark idea. Um, I'm thinking that there was an, another owner compared to the dude that I bought it from and the dude that I talked to on the phone. Probably should have asked that question. Um, reason being is because the dude I bought it from gave me this other dude, well, t had this other dude call me that owned the sled previous to him. Um, so I talked to him and his number camp has like an unrestricted number and I lost the other dude's number so I wanted to recall him but I can't really do that now. And find out if I'm the fourth owner of this because I have reason to believe that this track is the original track to the snowmobile. The only reason why I know that is because of the uh, the track itself. This is a original Articat track. No, uh, there's no. This isn't a hack saw. It's not a rip saw. It's not an ice ripper. It's nothing. It's just a regular Articat track. Unless this guy went through Articat, bought a brand new Articat. And uh, my buddy there, who's spinning the track last night for me, and 
Well, we found a few pullouts like that. That's awesome. And there's a few more pullouts. Uh, there's a few up there. See that one? And there's one right there. Where else? And there's another one somewhere right up there somewhere. I think it's like right there. But where's, where's my zoom here? Here we go. Like there's one right there. And there's another one right there. So I have reason to believe this is the original track, but I think Buddy just studded it. And I think the dude that sold it to Buddy there, the, the third the second owner, told him that it was a new track and obviously it wasn't a new track. So yeah, that's awesome. So I'm not probably gonna put a new track on this year, maybe next year or something. But you never know. If I get enough money in, I'll probably throw one on. Maybe just sell that one, maybe just post it on Craigslist, 200 bucks, and I get a $400 track for it. That'd be nice. But anyway, enough talking. I gotta get working on this thing. I gotta, hopefully by the time I'm done making the next video, I'll have all the electrical done, motor mounted, and maybe we can fire it. Oh yeah, it's just gonna be one of them days. It's getting pretty warm out too. Holy. Alright, so I got the motor, all the electricals done. Uh, pretty much just swapped out the other stuff with the other stuff. The motor that was over there, put all the electrical on this one and mashed up the same. Uh, the only reason why I had to do it is because some goof cut all the damn wires. But uh, check that out. Yummy! Luckily I got a spare one. This is not too too bad. It's not pitted just dirty. Um, but man, this jet here, this little tiny jet, this thing was like completely... Had a whole mess of shit in there. But now you can kind of sort of see through it. But it was a dirty curb. Dirty, dirty curb. But everything seems to be working good, so I'm gonna take her from there, assemble it, throw some gas in her, and uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, she don't bug boom. Well, that was unexpected. Uh, should have known, because once you see this, you should have known everything else was completely fucked. So, I ended up, uh, well, I'll tell you what happened. This bolt here was missing. I had to put the choke lever in. So I tilted it down. And I noticed this up here was getting kinked up in there. So I was like, oh, all right, I'll take off this little ear box piece and shroud and popped it off. And well, I couldn't even get the throttle to move. Sure enough, everything on the inside was seized. Wonderful. Well, when I usually do my uh, routine checks on when I get these uh, motors and stuff in, because I have no clue what's wrong with them, I usually like to usually like to check the uh, valves, and well, it's not near time to adjust it. No. Plenty of room there. I mean, isn't that how it's supposed to be? Same deal like the bottom one, too. Holy. Not near time to change them, or adjust them. Huh. I think that's probably the best one that I've ever seen. That's about a good quarter, uh, I'd say about 3 sixteenths of an inch. Awesome. Good thing I didn't fire that thing. It would have freaking oh, rattled pretty bad. Great. Another thing to do. Awesome. Alright. I think it's time to uh, fire her up. Just, uh, couldn't quite figure out this one electrical problem. It was just the darndest thing. I turned the key, wouldn't wouldn't start. I'm like, what the fuck? And uh, then I realized it won't start unless you have the two cables on that little hour meter on. And I didn't even have an hour meter on there. And I forgot to hook up the wires yesterday, so get the wires hooked up. Uh, I think, oh nope, hold on. I gotta put a spark plug in. Yeah, we'll just throw that one in for it. Oh no, that's an NGK. Okay, now for maybe in this draw. Oh, one left. Ooh, we got three left. Woohoo! Uh, I had one left there for a second. So we're just gonna screw that son of a bitch in there. Had to put the exhaust on. Had to put a new gasket on the overhead valve. New uh, exhaust gasket. Bunch of other stuff, and well, it's about. I don't know, 140 something right now. So I've been on this for about two hours now. Not including the amount of hours it took me to get this the motor off, but that only takes about 30 minutes or so. 
Alright. Uh, put that on. Let's see if she'll fire. I don't know if we're going to get any gas to the carburetor yet. Yeah, it's got a little gas in there, so we might see a little action. Let's uh, see what happens. Joke on. Okay, either my battery's pooched or I adjusted the valves to the wrong uh, son of a bitch. So let's, uh, let's check the battery here and I'll get back to you in a bit. Alright, so let's try to uh, start it up still. We got a little bit of combination of two things going wrong. Once the battery, I don't know why these ever starts to die so fast. They're a piece of shit. Um, and the other thing is uh, the gas. I know for a fact, holy. I know for a fact my dad gets this gas at a gas station. I swear to God they fucking probably put a hose in their tanks at night and they probably fill up half their tank with water with the gas. I, I can almost guarantee it. this is the second time it's happened now. My dad's getting gas from this one gas station and these engines just don't run right with this gas. I mean, I've gotten gas from other places before. Sunoco, Shell, um... And they they seem to be fine uh, with this one gas station. It's they got to put fucking water in their gas. I know it. I, I just know it. This gas doesn't even smell like gas. It smells like fucking watered down gas. You know. I mean, I can see maybe if we've had rain and stuff like that. And my dad got the gas. I want to say last Monday, or maybe Friday. Last not Friday, not last Friday, but the Friday before that. Just before the last weekend there. I can almost guarantee they fucking put water in the gas. So. I don't know. I'm going to let that thing charge up. I'll give it one more shot. And if not, I'm going down the fucking uh, uh, shell station down the street here. And I'm just going to go get some good gas. Maybe get the uh, Super Primo stuff. I don't know. But that shit pisses me off. I know the for a fact they do. I can almost guarantee it. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to power wash this thing up, probably call it quits on this thing. Bring another push mower and take it from there. Oh, yeah. I love these kind of days when shit just hits the fan. Well, I finally get this thing running, and, uh, this thing sm blows smoke like a bastard. Holy. So, my plan is now to take her apart again. And I'm hoping, maybe just hoping... That's yeah, just the head gasket with a little overhead valve. Teacher is like right there and goes in. But if I have to friggin' pull this motor off here again, I think I might just hit the roof. I swear to God, it hasn't been a good day. Alright, so it seems to be the head gasket. Thank God, I'm hoping. As you can see, there's a little chunk there missing, like always. And sure enough, we'll be changing that part out. Awesome. Just awesome. Kind of so see it in the block too, like that one little hollow spot right there. So I checked though, it didn't really seem like it had any blow by. I was cranking it over and well just getting the average amount of oil in there, so I guess that's a good thing. Oh, today's just not my day. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> Just ain't feeling it today. Hopefully tomorrow's a better day. Uh, tomorrow I gotta fire or move the snowmobile. Snowmobile's going out of here tomorrow. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. What the fuck? Did I do that? Yeah, I must have did that. Must have been, must have been like that or something. Yep, that's what I bet. I bet you I was kneeling on the thing. Fuck! Damn it. Just... Oh, like today couldn't just get like any more worse. Maybe I'm just hungry or something. I don't know. Damn it. I guess we'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. Son of a bitch.